And we welcome you to Biblical Strategies Today, featuring pastor, teacher, and author Phil Moser. I'm Scott Foreman. Phil, thanks for taking the time to share with us some biblical strategies today. Always good to share, Scott. Thank you. Phil, um, let's face it. Worry is something that we all face, um, but some people are constantly surrounded by worry because they live with incessant worriers, or they have friends who are incessant worriers. So, Phil, my question is, how should we live with someone who has basically become a professional worrier? Well, I think the first thing we want to realize, Scott, is that they're probably living with someone who's a professional worrier. So we tend not to think in terms of our own struggles uh, very clearly. So we probably are worrying as well. But I, I always like to give two comments to the person who says, you know, my wife or my husband or my kids are just struggling with anxiety in this way all the time. Um, I always point to two things, love deeply and live well. In other words, when we think in terms of loving deeply, interesting, both of these ideas are found close by passages that deal with anxiety. Uh, love deeply is found in, in 1 Peter 4, 8, and a chapter later we're told to cast our anxieties upon the Lord. But 1 Peter 4, 8 says, love deeply, for love covers a multitude of sins. So when someone's worrying, you will not help them by being frustrated with them. But if you love them well, you may be able to help them in their struggle. Uh, so recognize that their worry or anxiety has become a thought process for them, and it's not going to be easily broken. So that's why you want the kind of love that covers a multitude of sins. Um, you want to love patiently, 1 Corinthians 13, for love is patient, love is kind. But I think the other way you can help them is not by always trying to fix them, but by living well in front of them. In fact, in another passage that's closely associated with the peace of God and anxiety, in Philippians 4, um, you may remember we read this, be anxious for nothing, for Philippians 4, 6, and then it talks about our thinking patterns in Philippians 4, 8, but here, most importantly, for this case, verse 9, Paul says, what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. So the better approach is to model before them your growing confidence in the Lord. Rather than tell them they're worrying, show them how not to worry by living before them in a way that your confidence is growing in the Lord. So that's what I, that's what I like to say, love deeply, live well. That's how you live with an incessant worrier. And in that way, you're an encouragement to them, even though they may still be susceptible to anxiety and worry, even while you're loving them well, loving them deeply and living well before them. So, Phil, if I'm catching you right, um, nagging is probably not the best approach. No, that's probably going to, gonna, yeah, so absolutely. That's probably going to exemplify the problem. The problem isn't the, the, again, Scott, the problem isn't the fact that they don't realize they're worrying. The problem is, is that they don't really know how to stop that process that's happening in their head. And so when you nag, you're only pointing out to them what they've already become aware of. Um, and the more frequently you point it out, simply, frankly, now they have something else to worry about, how often you're going to nag them. So rather than do that, have a love that covers a multitude of sins, live before them in a way that you are modeling a growing confidence in God and not uh, a fear of your circumstances. Well, Phil, worry is something that we can all struggle with. And in your powerful and widely used book, Safe in the Storm, Biblical Strategies for Overcoming Anxiety, Phil, you expose anxiety for what it is and provide practical, ready-to-use tools and resources to help you begin to apply God's solutions to worry for your life. Just go to biblicalstrategies.com, click store to order your Safe in the Storm package today, which includes the book, uh, the study guide, and also the scripture retrieval system. Or you can call us at uh, 1-877-772-772. 1992. You can call 877-772-1992.